If you're tired of memorizing all those passwords, you probably need a password manager. This is Leo from Fall Critic, and today we'll be reviewing Sticky Password Premium. Sticky Password comes with a 30 megabyte installer and a very simple setup process, which has this nice graphic user interface. So first you're welcomed and then it tells you the basic stuff that it can do and some of its key perks. And after that, you're all ready to set up an account. Of course, as you might have assumed, since this is a password management utility, you do have to create an account in order to use the software. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. And here you get to create a master password, which is the one password you'll be using for all your logins. So basically this is how it works. You use the master password, log into your sticky password account, and then all your passwords are stored there. So it automatically uses your passwords for your different websites. Like let's say your Gmail account, your Hotmail account, your, um, you know, any web service that you're using, it is going to store all those passwords. And once it is verified using this one master authentication, it is going to automatically use the other passwords for all the website, therefore simplifying the work needed to be done on your part. So be sure to um, set a strong master password. And here we have a nice indicator at the bottom that shows us how strong our password is. So if we add more special characters, it immediately becomes stronger. And there you go, that's that's 100%. But it won't force you to create an absolutely strong password, but it is recommended. While you should create a strong master password, it should be easy to remember because as it says here very clearly, I understand that my master password is not stored anywhere. I'm the only one who knows it and if I do forget it, there is no way to recover my data. So if you lose your master password, it essentially means that you won't be able to log in anywhere and you have to go through the, you know, you probably can recover your account still, but you have to go through all those websites one by one and do your forget password process. And uh, well, that's going to be a real pain. So try not to forget your master password. So now that we have our master password set, we are ready to get started. You can enable Cloud Sync so that all your devices have uh, the authentication and can start using Sticky Password. So um, to store your passwords, they use an AES-256 encryption. Keep that in mind. And now we are ready for browser integration. So you can select any browsers that you have on your computer. It works with everything. Don't worry, you can use Chrome, Firefox, whatever you like, Internet Explorer, if you still use that thing. And um, you can hit continue. And now we're all set. Now, it has a very nice tutorial to start with. It says, learn how to use sticky password in three minutes. Let's see how effective that is. So first it shows you how you can launch sticky password. You can access it in your notification area, the tray icon. There you go. Then you have your browser extension. That's what it's telling you about. And it shows you how the main user interface can be accessed by double clicking the tray icon. Here is your browser extension. So let's go to the next step. So this shows you the different states of the icon, what symbol it shows when uh, sticky password is locked and when it's unlocked. 
and uh, here we have instructions on how to unlock it. Now this shows you how you can add web accounts. Well actually you just log in as normal and I guess that should work just fine because Sticky Password is going to save the login data. So this just tells you that it's going to remember your data and next time when you sign in it's automatically going to remember your login credentials and put them in for you. So it even works with uh, things like Skype and other you know utilities or tools that you might be using as applications and you can use it to log in automatically on any web apps or desktop apps as well. So now that our tutorial is done, let's go back to our main user interface. And here we have quick access, which easily allows you to add an account, add an identity, or allows you to set portable passwords for your flash devices. Then you have your web accounts. It has them listed as different categories. So if you have multiple email accounts, they're all gonna show up under this email tab and if you have multiple you know instant messaging accounts they're all going to show up under this tab so they have it nicely organized here and you can obviously add your bookmarks in here as well and you can add your identities here again quick access you can directly get here or you can use the side navigation so you can fill in your online forms and stuff like that then it has secure memos as well that you can add. So it's a very simple user interface, not much is required. Since the functionality is uh, a very simple thing to manage, the user interface elegantly reflects that. It's not at all complicated, very simple. Tabs on the left and information on the right, there's really not much to it. Now if we go into menu and settings, let's see what else we can find. So we've got some basic stuff here, you know, how long passwords stay in the clipboard, whether or not to start it with Windows, automatically check for updates, and then your account information, your synchronization, your browsers, your browser extensions, and, um, you know, automatic locking and stuff like that, your security settings, websites to ignore, and trusted websites. You can ignore some apps as well if you don't want to log into those. And um, your database location and some other settings like when to give you notifications and things like that or your browser dialogues. So all in all, very simple, easy to use and they have a nice tutorial to get you started as well. So this is a great tool for people who have a hard time remembering multiple passwords and as you all know, for security reasons, it's always advisable to use different passwords on different websites. This is a nice way of doing it. However, keep in mind you have to remember your master password and don't let your master password leak. Some of these security concerns go with the password managers as well. And this is in general for any password manager. So if you have some you know, super high security account or your work account, which has confidential data, I would say you still should manage those yourself. But for your general, you know, email, Amazon, things like that, this is a great utility, can save you lots of time and make your life a lot easier online. So that's my overview of Sticky Password Premium. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and subscribe to our channel for more. And don't forget to check out the written review at www.filecritic.com. This is your host, Leo, signing out.